Hey everybody, we're going to film a talk through plan with me today because I'm at that point in the semester where I don't feel like filming plan with me's during the week because I'm so tired. And uh, so I don't want to film it and then voice over it and have a billion steps to it. So I'm just going to spend a lot more time editing this than usual. <laughs> but we're just going to gonna do it all together. I'm still obsessed with this week. The kitty cat week. Flipping the page though, I'm going to use leftovers this week. Um, I talked about this in my monthly lineup for September. Um, I used this kit earlier this year in January, I think for the second week of the spring semester because the first week of spring semester is always my cat's adoptiversary. Um, but I think this was called Academia from Cinderella Paper. And I've got a bunch of leftover boxes for this one. And this is going to be our transition into the fall time. The days are definitely getting shorter here. That is pretty much the only sign we have that it's fall. So we're going to memory keep for this week. And we'll get started in just a second. I'm also going to pull in, I think, some quotes from the tailor sheet from Planet Hannah. Obviously, I've got my Bake Off stickers because we're deep into this season of Bake Off. And then I've got my wedding planning scripts from Scribble Prince Co. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, I've got my character stickers pulled as well. I'm going to go ahead and put those to the side. And I'm going to start with my leftover glitter headers and the date covers because I do like to save the date covers for the leftover week, unless it's a really special week, usually like my birthday or what else do I save date covers with? Usually it's just like, I feel like my birthday where I go all out and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use everything from the kit. Oh, I also have some washi pulled over here. This is old washi from Oh Hello Co. Um, my fall color washi. So I will go ahead and pull that in as well, probably once I get the top part of this done. This, of course, is the last week of September, first week of October. Nothing too exciting this week happened, at least not for me. We'll talk about the internet drama a little bit later, but that really doesn't have anything to do with me personally. I was just paying way too much attention to it. Um, and then I got my COVID booster shot at the end of the week, so... I'm feeling like extra powerful now. <laughs> no, I shouldn't because I can definitely still get it, right? But I got the, I thought it was pronounced bivalent. That's just me reading it. Um, but the nurse was saying bivalent. I don't know. But it's the one that has those lovely Omicron variants in it, the ones that have been going around this year. So... Went and got my booster this Friday of this week that you're seeing here. And so I didn't make plans for these two days for the weekend because I'm like, I don't know how that's going to go for me. And that's a good idea that I did that. It didn't um, affect me that much. I talked about this a little bit in my October monthly plan with me. So if you're hearing this for a second time, I apologize. Um, but I just didn't feel great last weekend. I felt kind of crummy. Not like sick, just like meh, you know? And my arm was super sore. Part of my, my biggest deal with the, um, what dates am I working with here? 26. My biggest issue with the COVID shots is that they make your arm really sore. At least Moderna does. And I've gotten Moderna every time. Um, I almost got Pfizer for this booster because that was all that my healthcare provider had for a while. They had a shortage of Moderna. Um, but the day that I went in for my appointment, they literally just got a shipment of Moderna. So I'm like, um, I know my appointment says Pfizer, but can I get Moderna? And they're like, sure. So <laughs> I got Moderna again. But yeah, if you got Moderna, you know it makes your arm real sore no matter what. So, and I'm a side sleeper. So... It makes it difficult to sleep when you can't roll over on your side. So that's the main thing, the main problem for me. I think I'm gonna do something this week 
with washi because I only have five full boxes left. I think I'm just going to fill up this space with washi and then put the quote overlay from Planet Hannah over that. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So, yeah, all's well that ends well, but most of this week was just working, going to my appointment on Friday, and then chilling at home. But not really chilling, because I think I did a bunch of wedding stuff. Oh, I'll talk about this when we get there, but um, we finished our premarital counseling, or what we're calling our premarital counseling anyway. We finished the last chapter of the book that we got and that we've been working through over the last few months. So that was exciting because now we've had all those talks and we can check that off the list and we always have the book to come back to, of course, if we have any issues. I'm wondering if I should have put this up higher. I'm not sure. I'm gonna need a couple more of these. This might end up looking strange, but I hope not. I hope it looks okay. Or if you can't really notice. I'm going to leave that for now um, and go ahead and put in my habit trackers and dinner sidebar for the week. This is something I like to do every week to fill up the sidebar. That's crooked. This whole thing might end up crooked though, from what I can tell. There's a lot of moving parts. So typically, yeah, I'll do another habit tracker. Actually, I think I'm gonna do, I had to pull in an extra habit tracker from my multicolor collection because there's only one left from the kit. So, gonna guesstimate where this washi is gonna go because this one has rounded corners so it needs a little bit of well it doesn't need it but it could use a little bit of a background okay good job Jessica and in that one we're gonna put this script from Carly plans called face times two and then this one that I'm putting down right now will be for flossing and I will write that in later And we'll put some more washi. And then it's very rare that I have dinner's headers left over, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I didn't really have anything for the sidebar this week as far as like something special. So if I can think of anything, I will pull it in later. But for now, I'm just gonna have a more functional sidebar over here. I think I'm gonna use that. Weekly checklist. Someone is laughing really loudly outside. <laughs> Pull in this weekly checklist. And then the last piece of washi. And then I don't think I have anything else for the sidebar. So if I can think of something later, I'll put it in. But otherwise, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I want to use this quote that says, time turns flames to embers from Taylor Swift because this is the end of September. And the next line of this lyric is about how you'll have new Septembers. Uh, the person who is the subject of that song is up to some uh, interesting stuff lately. Um, yeah. I'm not going to talk about that. Maybe that will be enough washi. Yeah, that'll be enough washi. To have a good backdrop for this. Let's see. Cool. <laughs> Do I love that? No. You can definitely see the seams of the stickers together, but it's a plain background, so you'll be able to read the script a lot better than you normally would over a full box, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to wait to do washi until the end, I think. Um, so let's just jump into what the plans were this week. So Monday through Friday is not going to be, or Monday through Thursday is not going to be super interesting. 
looks like the first thing I marked on Monday was grading. So, how many things do I have to mark on Monday? One, two, three, four, five. I just have five things for Monday. Okay, so Monday's definitely getting a full box. Um, I'm going to use a square box for grading because it takes up a lot of space. I'll put this over here. And then I have this laptop from Carly Plans. This would be a good week to have underlays because there's not a lot going on, but we're using leftovers, so it's fine. And then the next thing I had to mark is that it was my office hour. So yeah, clearly when I'm grading, I don't have a whole lot of time to do much else during the week. So that makes sense. I'll go ahead and put a full box in to break up that space since we only have five things to mark this week or this day. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to pull in a little thing for my office hour. And I have this push pin icon that's left over from an old Cinderella paper kit. Then I have I also had to pull in class labels for this week because I used the ones from this kit already. So I just have these are from Cinderella paper, but they're just left over from kits where I either didn't use the class labels or I just didn't have class because I was on break. So put those in for my classes and then I just wrote in that I watched random YouTube this evening. Which is just where I uh, turn on my fiance's PS4, a PS5, and watch whatever's on his YouTube account that's interesting to me. Sometimes we watch it together. Actually most of the time we watch it together. I'm going to use a glitter half box for that. Um, let's use this color. And that will be the end of Monday. This icon is also from Carly Plans. I have a note to not put a full box on this day because there's a lot more going on. So that's helpful. Um, Rosh Hashanah ended as well. So, this day I'm going to mark that my fiancé went up to the office. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Did I not pull sticker? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I was like, did I not pull class labels this day? I didn't because we had our library day this day. I know I just counted this, but I don't have to recount it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now I understand. So the first thing I'm going to mark is that my fiancé went up to the office. So I have a car icon from Planahanna. One of these days I might decide to stop marking all the days he goes to the office, but for now I'm going to keep marking it. The next thing I did was pull stickers for a plan with me. So... Let's pull in one of these. And I have a little planner sticker from Carly Plans. Then I graded more. So I guess I'm just going to use a regular label for that because I can't put a square box there. Um, Hold on while I figure out my life. I'm just going to put a piece of washi. Looks like I didn't get a ton of grading done this day anyway, so let's put it on a boring piece of washi. This is also from Carly Plans, and then I had another office hour, so I'm going to pull in a little thing for that. And this is another icon from Cinderella Paper. It's just a little asterisk. Then my classes met in the library this particular day because they were starting some research. And so I arranged for the librarian to talk to them so they could ask her research questions. So I have this teaching Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Um, especially because it was the librarian and 
Not all librarians dress like this, but this particular one actually did, so I wanted to commemorate that. I thought that was cute. And then after class, it looks like I was grading classwork to catch up. So I'm going to use a little thing for that. And I just have this little pencil icon. I don't know where it's from. It's just in my collection. And then this was the day. This actually happened like earlier in the day. This was the day of the Try Guy. I'm just going to write in Try Guys Tea. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. You'll find a billion and five answers. Um, so we watched the Try Guys on YouTube. And this was the day. I think I was in my office out in my office, and my fiance texted me to let me know what was going on. And I'm like what? <laughs> what the heck? Um, I don't really have an opinion on it, so I'm not gonna go out there and say a bunch of stuff. The one thing I will say, and the one thing that I think is like the public's business, because a lot of it is not the public's business, it's just a personal issue. Um, when people put their marriage out there as like hashtag goals, and people, they know people think of them as hashtag goals, and then it turns out they are so not hashtag goals. That's the only thing that I pay attention to because I think it is important to remember that people are putting out what they want you to see, and they're probably trying to suppress and hide what they don't want you to see. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Other than that, it's really not my business. Um, that's the one part that I felt like is my business though when people put their relationships out there and then it turns out it, it wasn't really the truth so yeah that's all i'll say about that also when they're profiting off their relationship especially when they're profiting off their relationship and the idea of their relationship that's where i get that's where i feel icky when things like this come out anyway that's all so I'm going to put in this like emoji who's just like wide-eyed like what because that was my reaction. I was just like oh boy we never really know people do we? And that's the main message like even now I've been lurking on the Try Guys subreddit um, because that's how I like to waste my time now apparently. And um, there's still a lot of people who are just like oh well so and so would never do this and I'm like I think we haven't learned our lesson here y'all. No one thought this person was ever going to do that. So let's not act like we know these people, you know? Like, I'm a big fan, but you don't really, we, none of us know these people unless you actually know them. Wow, that was a profound statement. Okay. Um, I'm going to put in a blue glitter label. I'm here for their rebranding, though, because it's orange instead of all the other colors they were doing before. And as someone who loves orange, I am so here for it. So anyway, that's the Try Guys tea. Um, then I played with the cat. So I need to find something for that. Let's do a little thing, I guess. I could have crammed these things together more, I guess. Actually, wait, let me put the TV icon down, or the TV little thing. I think this is left over from a different kit. Also from Cinderella paper though. And then I'm gonna put this in. Whoops. Oh, no, that's fine. And then I have this Avocado Molly from Anybody Sticker Co. and a Play with Evie custom script from Carly Plans. Okay, that's Tuesday. I forgot to say, I started rewatching the 2019 season of Great British Bake Off this evening um, because honestly, with the with the tea going on, um, with the tea being spilled, um, I felt weird about watching YouTube that night. So I like was watching the 2019 season of Bake Off this week because it's my comfort show. Wednesday, my fiance also went to the office this day. And I think I have eight things to mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So we'll probably put a full box on this day. So we have another car. And then I filmed a plan with me. So that can get a glitter label. 
Um, except I don't have the right color, so maybe not. I ran out of a lot of blue, I guess. Let's go ahead and use this label. That way I can put that sheet to the side and forget about it for now. You know, I just realized this quote, the time turns flames to embers, kind of goes along with this frickin' scandal. I just realized that. Because, yeah. What happened was not good, but, you know, the people involved, I hope, you know, they still have lives after this, obviously. Okay, and then I did more grading. I'm just gonna use, I guess let's use a box for that, sure. Oh god, someone's listening to a radio super loud while walking by. Can you hear that? This is my life. I have another laptop for grading, obviously. I did a little bit of reading this day because I was feeling kind of stressed out. So I started the poetry collection called Postcolonial Love Poem. So I'm going to mark that. Actually, now let's bring in glitter. I just read a little bit of it. I like poetry because you can kind of just like pick it up and put it down as you like. I think this is from Simply a Mess. And then maybe I'll go ahead and put a full box in. Um, I think I'll put a full box in at the bottom actually. Um, I had a wrist flare up this day. I had to put my wrist um, brace on. Uh, I don't talk, I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I have had like a long standing issue with my left wrist and arm. And I'm left handed, so it makes my life difficult when it does flare up. But basically, when I was like 19, it started getting aggravated a lot because I was doing a lot of handwriting for school. And then. I think the summer I turned 20, it really got messed up. I think when I was like in those classes, because I was taking like stats and we had to do all our tests by hand, which was stressful. Um, I got this cyst right here that swelled up really bad. This is beautiful, I know. Um, so that was annoying, but there's nothing really that could be done for it. They can go in and like, lance it, but it'll just probably come right back. And then the summer I turned 20, I had an eventful day at the state fair, which the state fair in California is in Sacramento, where I'm from. So I've gone several times, um, but they have it super early compared to when they used to, because a lot of the schools go back in early August when it's still stupidly hot. And so it's like the last two weeks of July instead of, it used to be like, I don't even know, late August, so it was a little bit cooler, although with weather changes now, it's not so true anymore. But anyway, um, it was a super hot day. I ended up passing out at the state fair, so that was cute. And I had to go to like the medic tent and all that. But what also happened is that we went on this ride that I didn't particularly want to go on but everyone else did and so I went on it and I hated it and I was like gripping I don't even know how to describe what the ride was but basically I felt like I was gonna fall off and so I was gripping really tight with my left wrist and um, my whole like these three fingers and all of this went numb for like three days and by the time I went to the doctor it was getting better and so he was just like here's a brace Pay 10 bucks for it with your uh, copay. Also, let's talk about some other things that aren't actually problems for you, but I think are problems. We're not going to get into that. That doctor was, I did not like him. 
but I didn't really have much of a choice when I was still living at home. So anyway, I've had like re reoccurring issues ever since. Eventually, one day, like I want to say like four or five years ago, I noticed the cyst finally went down and disappeared all on its own. It was like, I don't know what happened, but it just went away on its own. Um, so that's gone, which is cool because that was like gross looking, but also like when it would be cold out, it would get like cold and it felt weird. So anyway, I had had some issues flare up this day and my wrist was twinging and stuff. Um, so I put my brace on while I was teaching. It's better, quote unquote, now, but that's what happened that day. That's why I have that little hand icon there. And then I obviously taught my classes, and then I came home and watched Great British Bake Off. I don't know if that story I told made sense. This is why I normally don't film talk-throughs, because the way I tell stories during talk-through plan with me is just probably not the best. <laughs> okay, Thursday, we don't have a lot to mark, really, because most of my time was spent grading. Most of my energy was spent grading. Um, I did order more COVID tests because my health insurance let me. So that's who I'm relying on now. I think the, um, the government tests are done at this point, like the ones they'll send you through USPS. But... If you have Kaiser, if you log into your account, or at least that's regionally for me, um, you can order tests through them. And I was surprised that I could order more already on this day because I had just ordered more um, or ordered some like two weeks prior. But they let me, so that was cool. Then I graded. So I think I'm going to put this box in. I was logged into my health portal anyway because I wanted to double check my COVID booster appointment. That's from Carly Plants. I don't know where that pill bottle's from. And then I'm gonna put another full box in, I think. Let's put her in. So yeah. Ordered more tests, did some grading. Normally I wouldn't even mark that I ordered tests, but I had nothing else to mark this day, really. And then I went to work and taught my classes for the week, for the last day of the week that I teach. These are actually work labels from the kit, so that's why they match a little bit better. And I think the only other thing I had to mark is just watching random YouTube. <laughs> I don't know what we were watching this night. I had to like ease back into watching the Dry Dice channel just because I'm like, if I have to see so and so's face, I'm gonna be like, Ew. like I'm not. I was gonna say I'm not mad. I'm kind of mad at some people. Um, <laughs> mostly, I'm just disappointed. Because again, I don't know them, so really, it's not my business. And then to watch random you to mark YouTube, I'm just gonna put this play button from Carly Plans. That's Thursday. What an exciting day. Friday. Uh, the first thing I marked was that it would be three weeks until my bachelorette trip. How many things do I have to mark this day? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Derp, 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 derp. Maybe I'll put a full box on this day. I'll put it in the middle of the day. Thank you for bearing with me as I figure out my life. Um, okay. I'm going to put this in for three weeks till my bachelorette trip I have this molly with some drinks for that I don't know why I just felt like it this was also my day off I'm just gonna use washi for this and this day off script I think I pulled this from the kit but I just wanted to make sure I remembered to use it um, we got coffee this day because I think I was out of either milk or coffee. One of those two things. 
So for that, I have so many half boxes left from this kit. Let's do the glitter label. Um, this is the green one. This, something got super crooked here and I don't know what it was, but I feel like I don't care. Um, I have this really old coffee icon from Oh Hello for that. And then I had to test myself for COVID because I actually got exposed some at some point in here. I think it was this day. Potentially. I don't know for sure. But someone told me a couple days after I was around them that they uh, had COVID or tested positive anyway. So before I could go to my booster appointment, I needed to test myself. Like I called the helpline this day just to double check and they say that would be fine. They're like, if you test negative, then you can still have your appointment and get your booster. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Because really, um, I don't know how it is where you are. Maybe it's because I'm on a college campus where people are just sick a lot. Um, we're in midterms now and whether it's COVID or colds or flu or whatever, everyone's just so stressed that they're, they're getting sick really easily. Um, but I really wanted to get my booster sooner rather than later. I feel like last year I kind of put it off because that was like pre-Omicron. And this year, now that we're uh, in an Omicron world, I'm like, oh, let's get it done. Like now. Because I don't, especially because I think if you end up catching it, like you can't get your booster for a while. So I just wanted to get it taken care of, but also wanted to make sure I wasn't setting myself up for failure. So I tested myself. I was negative. That tissue box, I think, is from Scribble Prints Go. Then I did a little bit of grading before I went to my appointment. Um, pretty sure I was behind. I'm just perpetually behind this time of year, so that's fun for me. I'm not actually behind yet. Um, I'm just not ahead. And I always think every semester, oh, I'm going to get ahead. And then I never do. So, yeah. That's also from Carly Plans. And then I went to my booster appointment. So for that, um, I don't know what to use. Maybe one of these? Yeah. Let's use, do I have anything cool going on this weekend that I want to save the pretty boxes for? Yeah, I actually do. Okay, let's use the plaid one. Because <laughs> I'm happy to have gotten my booster, but like, let's be real, it's not the most fun thing in the world. Especially with what I'll mark next. So this is a Molly Loves Vaccines from Eddie Bitty Sticker Co. And then I wrote in that I had Moder what I call Moderna arm slash Fauci ouchie. Because uh, <laughs> my arm really hurt. And then I also kind of had a headache. And it was just like achy. So I'm going to mark that with Molly has a headache. Because that's the easiest way to put it. So for that, let's use this. And then I think what I'm going to do here is I'll put the washi in and then once I put the washi in, I'll put my Bake Off sticker in because that's the last thing we did this day. So she's got a headache. I love every time I get this vaccine, like I come home and I feel like I'm on top of the world. I'm like, I can do anything. I don't have any side effects. I'm fine. And then like, cause it takes a few hours to kick in. So yeah. That was the start of not feeling so great. I'm going to go ahead and put, whoops, things. I'm going to go ahead and put the washi in now so that I can put my Bake Off sticker in for this week. Okay, so the washi's down. I can't decide if I'm going to leave this strip here. If I decide to write something in here, I might remove it, but for now, we're just going to take that space up. I have my Bake Off stickers from Little Pencil Design that I love. And what's so funny is my fiance picked these out for me all on his own a couple years ago for Christmas. Um, this particular week was bread week. 
if you watch Great British Bake Off, you understand what that means. So we're going to put that in there. Um, I recently found out my youngest brother has been watching Bake Off, and I'm like, oh my god, I have someone to talk to about it with, um, besides my fiancé, who, you know, we watch it together. But it's just exciting when I find more people who like the shows that I like. All right, so then moving on to Saturday. I don't know if I've made any sense in this plan with me, so sorry if I sound strange. Saturday was, of course, the 1st of October, so rent was due, and then also I pay my credit card this day because I think the minimum payment's due on, like, the 3rd, but I just go in and pay it all off on the 1st because I usually get paid that day anyway. Oh, did I get paid this day? Maybe I got paid this day. Whatever. I didn't pull a sticker for it, so it's not a big deal. Did I mark payday over here, though? I didn't. Whatever. I know when I get paid, so I don't always mark it. Um, okay. So we're going to put a bill due sticker in for that. And then I have one, two, three. Where did all my character stickers go? Oh, they're right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so this day I was like achy and feverish. I did not sleep well, which is just how it goes for me when I get a booster. Um, I have like no reaction to the flu shot. So this whole COVID experience has been a light into how what other people deal with. Because like, I don't react to other types of vaccines so it's just been interesting and I'm trying to figure out what color I'm using here sorry let's use green so I have a sick day Molly for that even though like again I wasn't sick I just I didn't feel cute you know so I was just achy and feverish and did not sleep well the night before. Also, I'm not even sure if I was feverish or if it was just hot because, like, it's, like, 90 degrees here still. So um, I slept in, and I wrote, like, a lot. <laughs> so I slept in quite a bit because I barely slept the night before because what happens is I end up rolling over onto my arm, and then I'm pretty sure that wakes me up. Well, that's not fun. I have this Molly is too hot to sleep sticker, like sweating in her sleep. And then I have a sleep in script from Carly Plans, and underneath that I'll write in like a lot. I don't typically sleep in, so when I sleep in a lot, it is notable. Then I worked on my monthly budget, so I think I want to use one of the square boxes again for fun. So let's use this one. And then I have Molly Loves to Budget. Looking real serious, because I like to do my budgeting on the first, of course, because again, that's when I get paid. And then I filmed part of a haul, I voiced over a plan with me, and I also filmed my October monthly. So by the afternoon, I was feeling a lot better. And so I filmed a bunch. So to mark that, I think, I just have this planning day script. So let's just pull in this half box. And then put in planning day, because I was filming all the things. And then I decorated for Halloween. So I wanted to make sure that I got out all of my Halloween decorations uh, before it got too late in the month. So I'm like, you know what, it's October 1st. I've been meaning to do this. Let's just do it. So for that, um, chur -chur -chur. I feel like I'm just going to use a bunch of half boxes this day. That's fine, right? So 
So I have Molly carving a jack-o'-lantern for that because I didn't really know what else to pull. And then this was the day that we finished our premarital counseling. So I think for that, or what I'm calling our premarital counseling, <laughs> um, I'm going to put in the floral box for that because that's cute. Before I put that in, though, I'm going to put in this TV little thing, also left over from an old Cinderella paper kit to mark that we watched uh, a couple episodes of Rings of Power, which I feel like I can't remember the last time I talked about Rings of Power. The first episode's like really kind of slow. Um, but the episodes since then have been really interesting. So it's picked up the pace, I think. So that cat couple is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. to mark that we finished the last chapter of our counseling book. So we consider ourselves done with premarital counseling. Yay! We can get married with a little bit more peace of mind. Yay! <laughs> And then we've got Rings of Power there at the end of the day. Sunday, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to mark. So I slept in again this day. So for that, I think I'm just going to use this glitter label. I don't know. No, I don't really like that. What other choice do I have at this point? Yeah, we're just going to have to use that glitter label. Or actually, at the top of this day, I'll use my last full box since I slept in anyway. So it's not like I was doing a whole lot in the morning. Eh, okay, that's going to live there. So now we'll mark sleeping in here. And for that, I've got Molly has insomnia. Um, where am I putting this? Here? Okay. And another sleep in script from Carly Plans. And then I set up a registry for us on bookshop.org because there are a couple of like cookbooks and games that I wanted to register for. Um, so I can link that up with our wedding website, which is cute. Um, bookshop.org is a great alternative to Amazon. Um, you can do what you want. I don't care. But I do really resent Amazon for destroying the independent bookstore and then doing that whole weird thing where they basically cannibalize bookstores by opening up their own bookstores. I have a lot of issues with that. That was not cool. I get that it's business, but I don't like it. Um, so bookshop.org is a great website where you can still buy books online, but you can connect your account to one of your favorite local bookstores or a bookstore in a town that you used to live in. Um, so you can, the proceeds will go to them instead of Jeff Bezos. <laughs> so I like bookshop.org. I try to buy my stuff through there. Honestly, I'm using the library a lot more, especially because I can get a lot of stuff out of my campus library. But when I do buy books, I'm trying to do it through bookshop.org. So I thought it was cool that they added a registry feature. So anyway, I set that up. I definitely recommend it. Um, you can find all of the popular titles on there. They might not be as cheap as on Amazon. Um, but I don't think Amazon's great, so, as we watch an Amazon show, I know, I know. Um, as Kittenish just put it, she's like, I think she said something about, like, I hate that, like, Jeff Bezos likes all the same lore and, and media that I like, it's the problem, it's the problem, so. Okay, again, this is why I don't do talk through plan with me. <laughs> Because now I'm just like sifting through while rambling about Amazon. Trying to figure out what I'm doing. Ugh. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to mark setting up a registry, but for some reason I can't figure out what box I want to use for that. Um, let's just use a half box. I've decided. 
I think there's like seven things I want to mark on this day. So anyway, I just have this really old stack of books. I think that's from a Creating and Co. kit from a million years ago. Um, I also worked on my photographer's questionnaire for our wedding. Um, she sent that to us a million years ago, and I have a little bit better idea of some of the information, like the timeline. So I'm trying to just add to that as I go through. This is a camera icon from Planahanna. Um, it's on her wedding sheet specifically. Then we tried to take photographs of the cat because the first thing I knew I wanted uh, at our wedding before anything else, the only idea I was willing to even entertain was having a cardboard cutout of our cat. Um, getting a full body portrait of a cat is... If you have a cat, you know. It's tough. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I gotta go pull a different Molly for this. Since this is a little Molly poking around the corner, I wanted it this way. So we eventually got a somewhat decent photo of the cat, but it was it was a struggle. And also she's got a zit on her lips, so Nathan had to like Photoshop her. <laughs> then I filmed my October lineup, um, or at least I started it anyway. So for that, um, okay, I'm also stressing because I'm starting to run out of space on this memory card, so I need to hurry up. We're going to use the last little thing for filming the lineup, and then we bought our wedding rings this day. So Nathan bought my ring, and... I bought his ring, and we did that this day. I could have saved the flower box for that. That would have been cute, too. That's fine. Um, I guess we'll use a glitter box for that. That could be cute. Yeah. So I have this rings sticker from Cinderella Paper, which I think is cute because I obviously have yellow gold and so I'm getting a yellow gold band. And then Nathan turned, or chose a, like a silvery band. We just have different styles, so we didn't feel like we had to match wedding rings. I never even knew that was a thing, to like match the metal colors of your wedding bands. Um, my parents did originally, like they both had yellow gold. Um, and then my dad still has the same ring, but my mom has a different ring at this point, and I think hers is either white gold or platinum at this point. So I never, like, felt the pressure. I didn't know that was a thing, like, a tradition to have the same metal type. And, like, I'm very, like, olive-complected, and Nathan's very, like, pinky undertones. So to me, like, it makes sense to have different colored rings, honestly. We also just have very different styles. Um, so I have this rings sticker from the Scribble Prints Co. wedding sheet and I'll write order rings at the top of that. I don't think I can use anything else from this week. This one's in yellow gold, just FYI. Okay, let me go write everything in before I run out of space on this memory card, and then I'll show you what's left of the kit. Alrighty, so there is the finished week with everything written in, except for my class times. Uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing about my week and um, all of the weirdness that happened. Let's go through what's left from the kit. So obviously this page is done. I have some checklists, a couple of glitter half boxes, the flags, which I want, you know what, I'm going to put this page flag in the sidebar. And because I just think it's pretty. And if I can find like a script or something, I'll put that in. But that's what's left there. Do I want to use the weekend banner? Let's go ahead and just put the weekend banner in. I don't always use weekend banners, but might as well. Did that a little crooked. And I just put it down crooked again. It's fine. A um, couple pieces of washi, mostly date dots there, mostly headers there, and mostly checklists there. So that is the week. Hope you enjoyed hearing about it, like I definitely already said. And I will talk to you next week. Bye!